Bye. Welcome. This is a catch and cook overnight trip. I've got a boy, a young man, and two old guys. I'm gonna have each one of them introduce themselves. My name's Dennis. I'm the older brother of David, and we're here with my son and my grandson. Uh, this is a great opportunity to come out and, and uh, see what Dave does. He's excited about all of this backpacking and exploring, and we thought we'd come out and see what all the ex excitement was about. Hi, I'm Jared Rock. David's my uncle. I came up here because I heard about the great fishing adventures that he does, and I wanted to take, have that experience myself and take this time to get out of the city and spend some time um, out in the wilderness. My name's Ezra Rock, and Dave is my, what's it called? Uh, my great uncle. I just decided to go for sh fishing for my birthday, and camping and hiking. I came here to probably learn how to fish. This will be an eight night, nine day adventure, and we're so glad to have you along. I heard a rock slide, and it turned out that one rock tripped another one. David was behind me, pretty sure he kicked this rock. Send him flying back this way, his pack landed in here these older generation rocks are known for falling we got a bleeding thumb and shaking pride but i think we're good yeah this looks like a great place to camp it's nice fire pit. fire pit <laughs> nice soft dirt over there for a tent we got all the trees that surround us how much did you backpack in 39 pounds it was an incline right off the bat i realized i could have worked into that a little bit better Ezra, we, we determined, was carrying about 28% of his body weight. I was about 22, and everyone else was below 28%. So he was the tough guy on the last hike. Okay, so girls call boys hot, and the boys think they're cool. And so those are temperatures, and they're just opposites. Are you cool, or are you hot? Uh, I'm cool. What's it say on the GPS unit is our elevation? 1,238 feet. Wait. 10,238 feet. That's so high. Why are you picking up all the garbage around the camp? Because we leave our camp better than we found it. It's time to go fishing. Oh. I got a splake. And he's got a little hole in his belly. I snagged it while getting my line caught in the the like stuff on the bottom and then I was pulling it and I just snagged his belly and I got the fish. Would you say 10 incher? Oh yeah, well that's uh, like 12. Tugging. Doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. Fish and salad. Splake is a cross between a lake trout and a brook trout. The way you can tell a splake from a brook trout is the forked tail. And brook trout have square tails. Nice fish. Okay, we got a fisherman that's uh, just coming in. Tell us your fishing fish. stories. Got four today. One was tiny, got it on this. That's a Jake Spinalure. Yep. I caught uh, two fish. One was a 10 incher and one was a 12 incher. I caught two really small ones. Mm -hmm. One was a rainbow, the other small one was a splake, and then I caught a 14 inch splake. We're going to have two splakes and a rainbow tonight. My gosh. Look how orange red that is. This is our first course of our fish dinner tonight. Jared, what do you got? I've got a crushed little drink mix. I'm exactly going to show I have Neutralite twist tubes. Raspberry joint health. Nice. That helps for that. Pa backpacking. For old guys. Oh, yeah, it's for old guys. I just twist the top off and squirt it in. 
Nice. Throw it around with my dirty finger. I got true lemon, uh, strawberry lemonade. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. It's a good day. <laughs> we got a blend of olive oil and avocado oil that we're gonna cook the fish in and we're gonna deep fry them. This is ghee, which is clarified butter. We're gonna be cooking the splake filet in panko Cajun choice blackening. There's beautiful filet right there. That is looking good. Panko is making Jared's dreams come true. The next batch is gonna be Louisiana New Orleans style and Cajun choice with blackened seasoning. A fish fry. A little different color, huh? Mm-hmm. See that? That look yummy. It's good to me. Cajun's choice blackening. This is the one that came with salad, I think. Look how black that is, my gosh. Holy cow. These are townhouse pretzel cracker combo. And we're gonna put in this Kinder's blackened with cayenne and lemon. And then we're gonna crush it all up. Dreamed up on the spot. This is the rainbow trout that is ricotte, and it's not filleted, and that's what it looks like. So out comes the rainbow trout with the new invention dredge. I'm having the filet. Straight blackened. Wow. Is it spicy? Uh, yeah, it's spicy, but I was, I've had spicy. Man, very good. New concoction's pretty good. Mmm. What one did you have, the trout rainbow? Did you have the skin? My friend calls the skin lake bacon. <laughs> <laughs> you got any more in that one? Here, trade me a cup. Mm, you guys downed it. Wow. <laughs> We're having taste tests over here. You guys are eating dinner. You gonna go Louisiana on us? Gonna try it. Mmm. You want the last one? Yeah. <laughs> well, split it in half. What was this one? Just straight blackened, huh? That's good. Now we're going to cook the chips. So we got russet potatoes sliced very thin. We go in that oil that we cooked the fish in to create the chips. Dennis is salting them. Everybody take a chip. Yum. Pretty good. I think the seasoning's perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how's the fish and chips? Go? Great. It was I've never awesome. had better. This is the end of day number one. How was it? Uh, most enjoyable time. I've had better, but this was near the top five. Beautiful to get out in the wilderness and practice some good practical skills. Yeah, great time. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. That's the lucky rock right there. Give him the luck of the Irish. Pink power bait, working all day. All yesterday too. It's about a 13 inch splake. They just love power bait. You could eat fish tonight. We could. That is big. We were gluttons. My goodness, look at that. Huge. It's awesome. Like that one? Beautiful. Big one, dude. Everybody likes it. Probably about 15 inches. Pound, pound and a quarter. Yep. Holy cow, dudes. Two fish at once. What are you using, Jared? That yellow and orange stuff that I got from your pocket there, the secret stuff that you've been hoarding out for over four, 24 hours on it. Where's your fish, Ezra? Oh, it, it got away. I'm sure it was a fish for like 10 seconds at least. Oh, mama. A nice little cut bow there.
beautiful rainbow um, orange power bait turbo power Sees you. Welcome, welcome. Nice rainbow. 12 incher. Three colors. See you later, little rainbow. Tiny little hook. And green, orange, and yellow power bait. And that's been doing the trick. That's number that was last one was number six. Sinker on with a swivel and about four foot a liter. Cast it out, let it sink. To the bottom and wait for Mr. Fish. Heavy. I got one on too. What a little mini splake and a stub tail. Beautiful bow. Wow, that's a pretty one. Seven casts. Seven cast, seven fish. Fish report, uh, I caught 12. He had one fish on. My dad picks up his pole and says, I got a fish, I got a fish! And then I pick up my pole, I got a fish! Oh my goodness! And then we have all three poles having fish on them. My dad gets his in first and then I get a big one in and it overshadows him and everyone <laughs> forgot <laughs> about his. Okay, well that's the way it goes sometimes. I know, sorry about that. I got four. Just today I caught five. So we kept four. Now we're gonna do our fish fry. It's gonna be our first dredge. We got rainbow and splake. Beautiful filet. Nice, huh? Beautiful. That's like perfect. That is a monster. Look how big that filet is. Wow. That's all we're gonna cook right now. <laughs> it's finished up. Didn't take long in that high heat. Oh, that thing is beautiful. Holy cow. This one's the Cajun Choice Blackening only. This is the Kinder Blackening and Lemon Townhouse Pretzel Crackers. Okay, Dennis is cutting up the yam. We're gonna fry that up and have yam chips. Here's a sweet potato chip. Nice texture right on these. Mmm. It's so good. Nice big chunks of trout. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That wasn't too bad falling in the dirt, was it? Ezra dropped his in the dirt. And we cleaned it up, didn't we? Yeah, still delicious. Straight blackening. Look at that crispy crunch to it. Mm-hmm. Boy, it doesn't get much better than that. Get that big chunky one. No. Nah. Okay. Holy. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> How was your day, Jared? Oh, uh, one of the best. I've never seen so much success fishing in my entire life. Great day, watch these guys fish, catch all kinds of fish. I've never caught that big of a fish ever. Like I'm always getting these big ones and I'm like, I caught the biggest fish. But no, you're getting these here and they're just huge. Are you counting the ones in your fish tank at home with the little net? Well, that's gonna be it for this evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so it's somebody's birthday today. It's mine. Yeah. Happy birthday, Ezra. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 11. I told him, you don't get many chances to run around in the woods in the state of nature. That'd be <laughs> the weirdest birthday ever. Jared, you had an appendage to a story. I saw him cast seven times in the same spot, picked out seven different fish each time. On his seventh cast, Ezra and I cast about the same time with the exact same stuff. And we've got three fish on, on his seventh cast. I've never seen anything like it. This all happened in a matter of 45 minutes. Nine fish on nine casts. All I know is this whole experience has been just a little fishy. Yeah. Jared and I are gonna to go to our next wilderness camp up here in the mountains. Dennis and Ezra are going back down to the trailhead. Ezra's looking forward to birthday presents, so they're gonna travel home. Holy 
cow. Was that yeah, fun or what? That was very fun. So Ezra, what's your two favorite parts? We did the taste testing of the dinner. Wow. That was just so good. And then the other time when my dad caught a fish and then I caught a fish right after him and everyone forgot about his fish. Yeah, well I like my hike. I went around the lake twice. Twice? Yep. I had a lot of good thinking time. Happy trails to everyone and stay free. Jared, looks like a nice camping spot right here. Fire pit, nice place for a tent over there. It's been a very long day. Well done! What's it like to have the pack off? Angel effect. We got our camp in the wild set up. Now you're here, what do you think? Really a great campsite, wonderful lake. Can't wait to throw the power bait in there and see if I can break your record. Close to two pounds, I'd say. It's a beauty. Ooh, it's a nice one. It's not flash. It's a fat one. He does not want to come. On my first cast on the special fishing hole here, got a 16 and a half inch brookie, 1.9 pounds. This is the biggest fish I've ever caught in my entire life. We are gonna eat this sucker tonight. A monster. It's gotta be two pounds. It's a beautiful brook. So I let the weight go down to the bottom near shore and it got snagged. Got my pocket knife out and I was just about to do this. All of a sudden it went free. The fish had pulled it that way out of the rocks and we caught him. Be a pound and a half, pound and three quarter brookie. Great fish. Ooh, he's a fighter. Whoa. Another big one. <laughs> this is a good one, Dave. I think we're gonna have to let this guy go though. Fatter than fat. Wow! As Dave would say. Look at that thing go. It's like, what the heck happened to me? Gotta be one of the fattest brookies I've ever caught. It's a beauty. 
14 inch brook trout 1.6 pounds look how fat that is my goodness oh that is like artwork I'm gonna cut this in thirds for cooking Let's see what he had in the belly green moss it's green moss but you got to be right on the backbone or you're gonna lose tons of meat. Go that is down. a big fish. Look how big that That's is. Monstrous. We're not gonna need another fish to eat, are we? No. We're gonna be sick. Is that okay? Jared, I think you mastered it. Deep dark orange. Nice female fish. The dredge we're using today are the Panko Cajun Choice Blackened. Look at the texture. So the next dredge we're going to use is the Louisiana New Orleans style fish fry with Cajun black. We've got these two massive fillets. <laughs> Look at how thick that is. Mm. Doesn't get much better than this. Do right, you like this one the best? Panko is my favorite. You they got the right ratios there. It's nice to have that little crunch, huh? I like the crunch on it. That is one big chunk of meat right there. I wanted to have some of this fish. That's Louisiana style, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm stuffed. Would I eat four fillet, four chunks? Four or five. That's like almost one fish, not quite. Not too many places you go fishing where not even one fish will fill you completely up. That's a gorgeous lake. That color is just so beautiful. How was your day? Best one yet. Got the biggest fish today and found an amazing spot. We ate so many fish we couldn't finish them. Gonna have to eat fish tomorrow morning. Darn it. <laughs> That's gonna be it. Good night. Night. You excited about eating some more fish? It's the best breakfast a man could have. A custom mix that I made. Yeah, there's a beautiful piece of trout. Really pink. Mm. I tend to like the white meat better, I think. It's a little more rubbery in some ways. For some reason, I like that. This was the unsung hero of the trip. Just something to hold your food after you're cooking it. We were fed all you can eat last night and all you can eat this morning off three fish. That's how big they were. We didn't want to keep the third one. We put that right. one back, but it turned belly up. I worked on it for a good 10 minutes. Fish CPR? And it didn't work. We're going to be hitting the trail and I'm going to be finding myself a new camp. I'm heading home. My time's up. It's okay. unfortunate, but this lucky guy gets another five more days. So we're going to be hiking on the trail together for a little ways, and then there's a junction down here that I'm going to take over to another lake. Good to have you along. Yeah, thank you buddy. so much. See ya, take care. Just a short hike from the trailhead. Just a couple thoughts about my adventure. My favorite lake to fish was the first lake that I was at. Felt like you were fishing on the beach. Mm -hmm. Fish all day. Ezra was there causing trouble. And the lake we were at today though, awesome for big fish. I circled the whole lake, fished all the way around and we found the spot. Actually David found it and he said, come over here. First cast, I got that big 16 incher. I was happy about that lake for that reason. My favorite camp was first night I was here. It was fun getting used to a new place. It was a lot more relaxed. The second lake we were at, something spooked me the first night, some sort of growling in the forest, and I kept waking up with a little bit of anxiety. <laughs> but, uh, but ultimately, it was an amazing camp there as well. Good company, good food, and I just really couldn't have asked for a better week. But we'll see you on the next trail.
I'm gonna make my camp right here and pitch my tent right there. Cutthroat. Wow. Beautiful cutthroat. It's a beautiful brook trout. Boy, they're feisty. Beautiful brookie. Cutthroats have just come out of their spawn and they are absolutely breathtaking color wise. Beautiful fish. <laughs> it's got to be like 13, 12, 13 inches. Three quarters of a pound. Look how beautiful and red that is. Isn't that gorgeous. Chunky that thing is. That's yeah, one gorgeous cut. It's got to be like a two pounder. Cutthroat. The catching on this lake, one big fish. Other than that, I didn't get any other fish. I did see a tiny dead cutthroat over on the other side. Down on the creek in the meadow, I ended up catching 12 fish and I kept one. It's time for dinner, but first I'm gonna get a drink, propel grape, and true limeade black cherry. I mix those together and kind of get a, a nice concoction. Delicious. Next, dice carrots. Just put the carrots in the jet boil with the water they're packed in. Now they're boiled, just drain off the excess water. And I add ghee and salt and pepper. Delicious looking. And delicious tasting. Tonight I'm gonna to be cooking my fish in panko and zatarans blackened seasoning. Yum, yum. Mmm. Ah, it's so good. Mm, I like them crispy. Mmm. But they are delicious. Mm mm mm. Gonna be the perfect amount of fish for me. It was probably about a 11, 12 inch brook trout, but it was chunky. Last bite. Mmm. She's missing a duckling or she's trying to distract me from her ducks. So I had a great day. I love creek fishing and to catch these beautiful cutthroats in this creek and these beautiful brookies that are just chunky, short and fat. So fun. And my other favorite thing to do is catch big trout in lakes. <laughs> so I did both of those things today. 
that wraps up the day. Good night. Good morning. The mosquitoes are somewhat intense, so I've got this really cool bug net that goes over my hat, which makes it so I don't have to use mosquito repellent, which is quite nice. I'm gonna get my breakfast, pack up, hit the trail. And then I'm gonna explore some more of this gorgeous area here, find me another backcountry lake to fish. As you can see, I'm not alone. My good friend here. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, I'm Jed Hayes. We're here for another crazy adventure, I think. Fishing for some trophy-sized cutthroat and tiger trout. Shall we get moving? Yeah. Wow, David, this is truly beautiful. This looks pretty good, David. Oh yeah, Jet, this is it. Fire pit, it's like there's some places for a tent there, one there. Ever since I was a little boy, I've had an addiction with teriyaki chicken mountain house. And ever since he turned me on to these peak refuels, I saw one in stores and I just, I thought I had to have it. Let's see the result we got here. Oh yeah, that's that's the stuff right there. That's literally the best. Oh my god. My first ever tiger and trout. It's a, it's a cross between a brook trout and a brown trout. Monster. Nice little cutty. First ever cutthroat trout, David. Never got one till right now. <laughs> and he's a beauty. Love him. Oh my. No, oh, oh. No, he's swimming towards me. Never mind. Look yeah, at him. He's fire. Look at him! Look! He's just going nuts! Oh, and there's other yeah, fish. Yeah, that's another cutty. That's what I mean, they might... Look, yeah. there's a fish bobbing right there. Holy crap. Big tiger! Oh yeah, baby, that's why we came here. Look at this beast. Just a football. And you let it sink. Yep. Right? That's what I did last time. Let it. How many? Oh, I just let it sit, just like this. Okay. Like five seconds and then you just reel in a little. Cause when you reel it in regularly, it goes down. Yeah. And then you just start jerking. Just like that, you just start tapping. Start flipping the lure. Mm -hmm. And you give it like a panic twitch. Oh my. It's a cut, but like, jeez, came out of nowhere. 
all sorts of pissed off. Why are you so fat? That is a healthy cutthroat trout. Fishing report. Well, I think we, we could say the least, we, we caught a few fish. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of this lake so far? This is the best fishing I've ever done, to be honest. I never seen anything better. So we're gonna call this a night. Good morning, it's the beginning of the eighth day. Gonna be doing a lot of fishing today, all day. I would say that we're gonna get tired of fishing, but I know us, we won't. Got one. Beautiful cutthroat. God, look at the red on the jaw. That's where I cast it. That three pounder followed me in. Three pounder? Yeah. Yeah, he was like this. Right here. Tiger. What the? Oh my God, this is, nice. this is crazy. Followed it all the way in, committed right in front of me. He literally just pulled the trigger. I'd say this is three. Feel the net. Oh yeah, I can tell just by looking, that's three. Got one. Cuddy. Just a chunky cuddy. Look at him. Tank. being a gentleman for us. Fatty. On a fly, Royal Coachman. Woo! Oh man, he's pulling. He's not too big, but man, on a three weight, these guys could fight. That was epic. He was under the log and I kept fishing it. He came up to it once, didn't grab it. I gave him a minute or two and then he came back after it. <sighs> David, this has been the best. Oh my God. Another absolute toad on the fly. I made us some mashed potatoes and mm. uh, I think they turned out pretty dang good. I'm gonna agree with you. Oh man, the ghee. It does it every time, it makes them so just buttery and wonderful. Damn, I dropped a little bit of potato. I gotta scoop it up. Every last bite counts. Mm. Olive oil and just a touch of ghee. And then the highly nutritious fillets with the panko and zatarain blackened seasoning. Look at that. Oh that my is chunky. Jeez. Wow. Those are the golden. All six pieces. That's basically two fillets and I've cut each fillet into three pieces. So that's one fillet and that's another fillet. Wow. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Just as much fun to eat as they are to catch. Maybe not. That was a good lunch. Now hold us over till dinner. Yeah. <gasps> Fairly hooked. Fairly hooked. I bombed one out as far as I could and then reeled in for two feet. I could see a thick grass bed. He was probably just sitting there waiting. He came after it hard. <laughs> one single treble. Like David said, there's six. Six. And he got the one. It's a tiger. Oh, come on, don't go there. Beauty. <laughs> I'd say just shy of two. Great tiger. Wow. That's gotta be 20 inches. Yeah, easily. There he goes. Look at that monster. Ah. Oh. 
nice little cutty on the dry fly and saw that they were feeding and figured this guy might come up for a tasty fly. And he did. Dry fly in the cheek. Should swim off. Whoa. Okay, we're making fish and chips. We've already cooked the fish. So here's the potatoes, and some potatoes are already in the oil. The fish is all gone. I had five pieces and Jet had one. How was yours? <laughs> oh, it was great. Okay, mine was excellent. We did something a little different with the chips. We put them in the panko breadcrumbs and the blackened seasoning. These chips are so good. Mmm. David, I need the net. Oh. So bring him, he's coming down Main Street. He's coming down Main Street. Chris! I knew that he was just gonna take off across the lake if he could. So I was like, all right, I have to set my drag like decently loose. And like you said, just let him go. He went from all the way over there, all the way down, came back and then went all the way down to the shore. And we had to slowly drag him in. I just caught this tiger on a fly, dragging it behind a bubble. Pretty tiger, whoa. Beautiful. <laughs> David, I got another big one. Get him that log. Okay, I got the net. Five point one. This one's bigger. Five point one pounds. Today's been amazing. Probably one of the best fishing days I've ever had. Caught three great sized tigers today that were just absolutely beautiful. And I ended up with 12 fish. Dang. And I caught a really colorful tiger. And then I caught a bunch of cutthroats. Most all mine were cutthroats. Yeah. But we want to say goodnight. Good morning, it's the beginning of day number nine. We went fishing this morning and didn't do anything. Okay, we're on the trail. Well, this is gonna be the end. I wanted to give you a few thoughts. I want Jet to give you a few of his thoughts. I thought the camping site was beautiful, 20 feet from the lake. It was just a remarkable view. My favorite hike was going up to the meadow. It was the most secluded part of this whole area that I've been in. What do you think about the scenery? Oh, everything was beautiful. The further you go up the mountain, the more beautiful it gets. Something like, again, I've never seen before. I've got one other one, and that is the meandering creek through the meadow and then the forest on both sides. I was so glad I was able to shoot that 4K. What's your highlight of your fishing? 
that near five pounder, 4.7, oh man, he dragged me across the lake. Yeah, you saw how a couple feet out of the water. That was definitely my favorite fish of the trip. And the biggest one I caught was two and a quarter pounds. I've never caught a tiger bigger than an eighth of a pound until yesterday. I want to thank my brother Dennis and Jared, my nephew, and his son Ezra for coming along with me, and also Jet for coming along. I want to thank you for coming along with us. So, until next time.